want to take us just a little bit further north from where Mary is at. She's down there near Albert Lee. And we are now joined by uh, Sergeant Troy Christensen of the Minnesota State Patrol. And Sergeant, you cover the southern portion of the state. Tell us where you're at right now. And see, you're, you're there in your office. So I'm in the Rochester district, so mm -hmm. just southeast Minnesota, mainly on the 52 corridor and I-90 and I-35 areas. Now you just heard Mary uh, reporting on what she's seeing in 35W and I-90. Is that pretty consistent with what your troopers are seeing this afternoon as well? Yeah, we're starting to see an increase in snowfall and also the winds are picking up. So we're starting to have some more drifting and possibly we're gonna have some whiteout conditions. We've had several crashes on 52 through the corridor in the Rochester area, but we're starting to see the secondary crashes so we'll have one crash, a single vehicle into the median, and then we're having people just traveling too fast and following too close, and that's where we're starting to have secondary crashes mm -hmm. from the hey, first crash that we've You witnessed. just anticipated one of the questions I wanted to ask you, Troy, and that is when we see a storm like this, what's the, what's the typical problem you see? What's the biggest mistake you see among drivers? And I think you just hinted at it there. Yeah, it's, it's important to just to have an extra, follow, increase your following distance and also just uh, decrease your speed and make sure you're driving a speed that's safe for the conditions. And if a car does spin out in front of you, you wanna make sure you have plenty of distance to stop so you're not involved in the crash or cause another one. Now with this kind of snow, uh, this is not the heavy wet stuff. This is the light powdery stuff, the ice crystals. And when you're driving in this, what do you have to be aware of as a driver, especially with your stopping distances? You're going to have to increase your uh, following distance, but also you're going to have to make sure that you have good windshield wipers and your headlights are on because we'll have some whiteout conditions going into this afternoon and this evening. And so it's important that people, if they can avoid travel until the conditions improve, that's what we just recommend doing. And Troy, I've always heard that in a snowstorm like this, or if there's icy road conditions, you want to make sure that you have your cruise control off. Um, would you talk about that for a moment? Why is that? Well, it's important you don't use your cruise control in any type of weather that's poor conditions or road conditions. It just allows uh, you extra time to actually have to put on the brake or disable the cruise control. So it's important that you're just focused on the roadway and not using cruise control in these type of weather conditions. And if you do get into a spin out or a crash, Troy, um, remind our, our viewers here as to what you would prefer them to do. And I think the first thing is, is of course, call 911, but also stay in your vehicle, right? Yeah, if you're involved in a crash and you're not injured or there's no injuries in the crash, if you can move to an off ramp or on ramp or somewhere off onto the shoulder as far as you can on the right side of the roadway, that's what we'd recommend doing. But it's important that you stay in your vehicle. Uh, it's common that everybody just wants to get out and check the damage on their vehicle. But what happens is if uh, you are outside your vehicle, we've seen an increase in people getting struck from other vehicles that'll spin out as well. Mm -hmm. So stay in your vehicle, call 911 and keep your seatbelt on and just give us your location and we'll get there as soon as possible. Now, as we get deeper into this storm, um, how many troopers are you gonna have out on the road? So we'll have normal staffing until we start to get see a call load that's above what we can handle. Then we'll call mm -hmm. additional troopers in uh, just to make sure that we're able to provide assistance as soon as possible. And, and what's your role in a storm like this? Are you out actively patrolling? Are the troopers out there looking for accidents or they are just kind of um, monitoring the storm as it rolls through? Oh, we just kind of monitor the storm as it comes through. It kind of comes, uh, we'll see the call come from station to station and then we'll just be ready for uh, typically the busy high traffic areas that where we'll focus right away. And then we'll just kind of take the calls as they come in. So in southeastern Minnesota there, where you're at, especially in the office of the Rochester office, what are some of the trouble areas where in a snowstorm like this, you tend to see the most accidents or spinouts? Where, where is it? Uh, today, we've seen a lot of uh, spinouts and crashes right on the on-ramps and off-ramps. So people are just not really prepared for the conditions and they're driving too fast, either accelerating too much or braking too hard. And once we have one crash into the wall, and then we'll have a secondary mm -hmm. one behind mm -hmm. So right now the on-ramps and off-ramps are kind of the problem areas. Yeah, and, and Troy, I'm curious, are you gonna head out on the road yourself here in a little bit? Uh, as soon as I'm done with the interview, I'm sure there's some calls <laughs> pending for me, so I'll be out and about. All right, I'll let you wrap this up, but I'm, I'm also curious when, uh, in a storm like this, how many miles are you putting on your car? Uh, how long of a day is it gonna be for you? Uh, it'll probably be a little longer day. I'll probably, usually I work eight hours. I'm sure it'll be 10, 12 hours today and uh, the mileage is just all dependent on what type of crashes or 
which whatever I'll be investigating, if it's a vehicle off the road or if it's a motorist assist or if it's a, a minor injury crash, then it just kind of depends on how long I'll be at that location. Well, Troy, I, I deeply appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us before you head out on your own patrol this afternoon. And please stay safe out there, all right? Thank you, have a good day. Safe all right, travels. you too, Troy. Safe travels to you.